Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about animations with CSS. The example you see here was animated with CSS using HTML images. I was also using Angular to build a web application. I will provide you a step-by-step -step instruction to build this web page on your own. After this video, you should be able to build your own animated web applications. At first, I create a new Angular project with this command. I also set the style to SCSS, that is Sassy CSS. It enables to use variables and mixins within CSS. Mixins are reusable CSS style sets with parameters. With them you avoid duplicate code. Ok, now I have started the application and Visual Studio Code. Now we can start coding. Let's first remove the generated content. And then let's change the background color of the body. Now we need to add the images which we want to animate. I place them in the assets folder. This is the angular icon which I am going to animate. And these are the images which I am going to use for the image rotation. At first we should create a simple table with two columns. Each column will contain an image rotation. We will set the image content in the style sheet. Let's create two different styles for each image column. Let's adjust the style of the table so that it is displayed centrally and there are no gaps between the images.
With these style attributes, the table is always in the center of the viewport. I also set the column width to a fixed value, so they will not be resized on image transition. It is time to try the first image animation. For that we need to use the CSS keyframes rule. With that we can specify keyframes where certain style properties will be applied. Here we use a simple from to animation. In the from and to block we must specify the style attributes. Our goal is to have a transition from one image to another. Therefore I set different image contents in each block. We apply this animation by adding the animation name to the first animation class. We also must set the animation duration. We also should add some more animation attributes. The animation fill mode with both specifies that the style attributes are filled before and after the animation. That means the attributes of the first frame are applied before the animation starts and the attributes of the last frame are applied after the animation stopped. The animation iteration count with value infinite specifies that the animation is played in an endless loop. And the animation direction with value normal specifies that the animation is played forward. You can also play it reverse or alternating between forward and reverse. We want to extend the image animation to rotate four different images. Therefore we must define more keyframes. It is possible to divide the whole animation timeline into several parts by assigning percentage values to the keyframes. The first column is now rotating four different images. Let's add an animation for the second column and move the animation styles into a reusable mixin.
Let's add a animation delay to the second column. The image rotation is now complete. Finally, let's add another image and animate it to the drop from the top of the viewport and fly upwards again. For the animation, we must be able to change the position, the size and the rotation of the icon on each keyframe. Therefore the mixin must have parameters. Let's create the keyframe rule for the icon animation. Ok, we have set the keyframes such that the icon drops from the top to the center of the screen, rotates and increases the size, then it waits for a bit and flies upwards again. Let us apply this animation by setting the proper animation attributes.
Congratulations, the animation is finished. You are now able to do your own CSS animations. Have fun with it and have a nice day.